favorite birthday? Okay, so normally I sit here forever and let people get on, but I'm not this time. I'm gonna show. Hey, uh, hang on. Let's see who's here. Oh, we got Dan Dan, the tree man. Right on. What's up, Dan? My monster right there. Have I been busy? Sorry for not being here soon. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't apologize. Anytime you guys can give me your time, that's very, very, very valuable. So. I don't blame anybody. I wish I had time to watch everybody's stuff, keep up with everybody. When I see people that actually, you know, when they do, it, it just blows my mind. So. If you can't make it, don't ever apologize for it. You're fine. Okay. But, uh, do we have anybody else? Oh, yeah. My fat fingers. Crazy is up with us. I love watching you and your content. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Monster. Hey, what are you doing? Say hi. That's his way to say hi. Matches his nose in the fence. Crazy. Um, today I had, had some time and we did that, that live feed where I dropped the tree. So, this is it's here at my neighbor's so here's their place fence back together it was together that day and uh but i had told them that i had plans on coming down and actually carving the chair out of the stump so uh got a chance to do that what do you have going on today here i'll show you here it is I carved this uh, chair out of that stump. It's kind of a little bit of a step up here. So there's a little step right there for like his grandkids and stuff. And uh, I mean, it's not, I could probably do better, but at the same time, it looks plenty good enough for a freebie. So, how fast people drive through here. They drive that fast through here and they look at their phone while they're doing it. Pretty sweet. That's why I can't ever let my dog run around. Yeah, what's up with everybody else though? What do you think about that chair? I was thinking beer drinking time. Meh, yeah, not a beer drinker. If I, I feel like if I'm gonna drink, I'll just drink whiskey. I need to get if, if, if I'm looking for a buzz I want it quick so um, yeah after like I remember being younger and drinking like a fish and then I had my uh, addiction problem which lasted quite a while and then uh, after rehab I couldn't drink I couldn't drink if I wanted to it just felt, made me feel sick all the time so I haven't drank since. Every now and then I'll have like a beer with a steak or something like that, you know, but it's wild. I have customers all the time. It seems like I'm always being offered beer or something, so. Let's see if I can get that out of that slide. Okay. Oh, God. Look how far behind I got. Oh, thanks, Dan. Yeah. Oh no no no, that's no problem, Chris. That's, I mean, beer time is 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 time. It may have its own thing, you know. So everybody has their ways to relax. So I'm no different than anybody else. But yeah, they they're some real nice people, and I didn't. It was. The funny part is the stump has a hole in the middle of it, so it's like a toilet. Yeah. I couldn't take the hole out, so I stuffed some, like, uh, sawdust all down in it and filled it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a long time now.
Chris, but yeah, it's kind of a battle daily. So. Yes, they gave me to my phone was pissed. I've been drinking 26 years off of trucks, never had a wreck. <laughs> Love that lift. Oh, yeah, okay. So that, that's what I was gonna show you guys. Oh, what's up, Steve? So, this is what we use in the next video. This thing, I don't know that I've done like a detailed um, explanation of it. I, you know, I know that I, I built it and I tried to keep you guys like in the loop as I was building it, but that was kind of hard at the same time. So, um, try to keep up with the comments too. Uh, beating weather today was snow, no wind, and you can wear clothes. Yeah. That's awesome, sir. Yeah, it's it's a little windy, but the weather is crazy nice. So, um, this thing, usually what I do is I bring it to the front and uh, lock it off when we're done with it, and just it's got a shackle here that comes off. have like these little shower curtain rings. I'm gonna start hooking it to that so I can get it off there quicker. But uh, yeah, this system here, which I, it's looking like it's gonna be difficult for me to get this in view without being blinded by the sun. Let's see. Hey, there it is. So, um, it, it unhooks and it will spin, you know, 360 anywhere I need. What's nice is I can uh, pop the pin here and then extend the whole system out about twice as long. And uh, then just lock the pin back in. Then on top of that, it also has this little bar here, and then it's got a hydraulic back to it, or yeah, I guess yeah, it's hydraulic, whatever, you know, crank jack, whatever it is. So you can set it up. Now, so I'm gonna try to keep up with the comments as I go in case anybody has any questions. What area do you live in? I live in Missouri, kind of in the middle, St. Francis County. Yeah, quit drinking bell for years, never liked it before that. It's over here. That's a great setup, Mike. Oh, thanks, Dan. Corey, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. That's awesome. Yeah, that's why I try to do these random timed ones and random days, because I end up seeing people that I haven't seen in forever. It's good to see you, buddy. You know what I mean when I say see you. I can literally see through. Um, what's the trailer size? I think it's a 18 foot. It's a handmade trailer. So the, the trailer was handmade. Uh, and then if you look here, you can see all the internal bracing that's been put into here. And it's been attached to the truck crane here. None of these braces were part of it. Um, that's all stuff that I added because it would um, it would twist I had this on another trailer at one point but the whole thing would twist I put a big slab for the base so it would make the base part wider and harder to want to twist and lift and it actually gives a little to where it allows it to tweak a bit but uh, yeah additional bracing here 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 um, and then tied them together on both and that tubing stuff is really crazy strong it's the same stuff that I end up making this lift the log lift from so it was actually the same stuff that um, uh, I made I have ramps right here I have four of these for the back of the trailer and we use them in the video to help with one of the logs 
we didn't use it on the first one ended up needing it and it was kind of stupid but I want to get a winch on your truck this year. I think sweet brother. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so the setup itself, um, it, it originally come with a hand winch that, that went on this. So I took the hand winch off and then mounted and welded a, I think it's like a 1200 pound, maybe 1000 pound. It's, I'm sorry if the wind's crazy. Um, it's like a thousand or twelve hundred pound ATV winch because it needed to be small enough to fit on there. So it, as it goes out, it runs up through here and into this little this little thing here. And there's a roller in here that you grease up, and it actually runs on that roller so that when it comes out, it's got a little mechanical advantage there. But during the video that I'm about to upload soon, this goes over and gets there, and I tear my winch cable all up. So I'm gonna have to disconnect and reattach my winch cable and cut some off. That won't be any fun, but yeah, I'll make it a little cleaner than that one. That one looks a little gaudy. Okay, I asked because you work way too damn hard. And I'm buying some new stuff for my company. And well, I started right where you are, so my mind is turning. Seems like I'm gonna have an extra. Oh, right on. Yeah, I have. If I. And I, it, this sounds really strange to most, and it, I, I know if it doesn't make sense to nobody. I prefer the small. Like I've been. Part of the big businesses the everyday crazy chaos i stepped away from all that because i just wanted to do it my way and i could go buy a dump trailer right now like have the money sitting there i could go pay cash but i don't need it i, I don't i mean i it would be nice though and i probably will eventually and definitely let me know you know it's always worth a you know worth a shot and checking it out uh, if you do end up you know upsizing or something if the deal is 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 good you know i may jump on it but like the one that i could get now i think it's like four grand or something it's not that nice it's been beat to hell so it's just something that i haven't you know haven't really got into but man i it's just, it blows my mind that you would even, you know, consider me. I really appreciate that. Tractor and possibly a trailer. Yeah, a little tractor would be nice on it. Do you have uh, extra weight on the trailer to counterbalance the log's weight? The trailer's awesome. No, um, so this thing is designed to, originally we used to pick up logs like from out here and uh, chunks of wood and it would be all the way to like here and we would just lift them up and then spin this thing around and lay them into the back of the truck so i just recently raised my rack height that's why you can see the new board here and then lined all my uh my boards on the side up straightened everything and then did some additional bracing up here at the front so this thing actually when you have it set right and you relieve this tension off of this to uh, lower the jack, you know, it should almost, I don't normally have it, the pin there, but it should almost like rest on it. And then help is like an additional brace. So it's actually, actually pretty nice. Like put it like that and then, then it almost works as additional bracing. But with that little rollers that are on the end there, I usually like to have it up in an angle a bit. And then, you know, the higher the angle, the weaker it can be. The longer this, the weaker it is. So I usually keep it up pretty short. And then this has moved back to here at that point, and the pressure is here. So it's like putting it right on the 2x4 that goes down, and it's actually standing, you know, onto the, uh, onto the base there. So I hope all this makes sense. 
small is good. Don't take it that way. But oh no no, man! I appreciate it so much. Don't no! Don't you dare! You can't do something like that. I buy it off you and then maybe fix it up, and get rid of mine, upgrade or something like that. You can't give me stuff. I'm not looking to sell anything. You're awesome though, man. I appreciate that. One ton with the dump is best. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. I would like to have an old one ton with a dump. That would, that would be nice. My dad's had a bunch of them throughout the years. And then, um, then we had a two ton dump. It was pretty scary. It had a single like industrial um, PTO dump on it that was in the middle so it would like twist and everything and get all crazy and want to flip uh yeah screw the big stuff just go in debt the production race drives people out i like to take my time and don't need okay here's something that may puzzle people too i have zero debt I don't I don't owe anything. I, I pay pay for everything. I don't like the only bill I have is like electric and stuff and if they would let me pay that ahead of time I probably would. So I don't like having bills. I feel like it's like this shady thing that's going on in the world and most people are gonna die with debt and just pass family or if I can find out one day that my family don't have to deal with it, then I'll take out all the credit cards in the world and just party. And I'll, it, it, you know, everything will be on me. To keep your cable on the roller, just install an eye bolt right before the roller to guide and reach out. That's, I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. You're talking like right before this. I was thinking maybe welding uh, some plates here a little higher because all it does is when it goes back in sometimes it gets a little gets a little high and it came off and went over but if I built the plates like to where they went out all the way to here and then up a little higher I don't think that would happen but man I really like the eye bolt idea I may just do that and cut it and like put it in sideways and do it. Yeah, I, I like that. That's that's awesome. I'm gonna steal that idea. Okay. Let me catch up on comments and I'll finish letting you know how this all works. Um, that was Vance. Vance, thanks for that. I like that idea. Two of my buddies down in Knoxville just bought new buckets and extra. I like to keep it simple. If it's too big. There's plenty of trees. Yeah, yeah, I I I'll take on any job because and I I love to show that it can be done with so little. And then ones where other guys can't get their equipment to it or it's you know too muddy or this or that, I'm still that guy that will get that job done regardless. So uh I've seen miraculous things done with nothing throughout my kind of career doing this and seeing it done. So all these extra tools that I have and devices, and ropes and knowledge, it's, 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 un, un, it's, there's no comparison to how easy it is compared to how hard it used to be. So a lot of guys have just seen the easy way and used the, uh, you know, equipment and gear and, you know, nice stuff so I can understand where you know it's like well get the nice stuff I can do whatever I want <laughs> right on Joe I own a crane lol not getting ready of uh, rid of that oh I tell you what I'd maybe I just come work with you a few days that sounds fun that's what I need to do is just go work and hang out with you guys if I could figure out enough work to keep me busy I'll turn it into a vacay with the family like that one ton I did. we used to uh, have old 1944, 50 models. That's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, my dad's like 70s and 
uh, yeah, usually 70s. The two ton was a Chevy, and the one tons were always Fords for some reason. So. I'll keep you in my brain. Right on. I'm dead honest about you. You're crazy, man. That is so awesome. I don't have any Williams either. Me either. You're correct. It's the problem. Yeah, you don't. I just don't need them. What's up? What's up, Nate? It's part of why I respect you. Well, right on. Thank you, Chef. Seth, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is that's the truth, Joe. I mean, if you want longevity, man, you got to invest in yourself. So, I, I'm at that point. You know, some of these things that I'm saying now, I will probably contradict ridiculously, in like total 180 in a few years. You know, it's just my body can do it now, so I, I allow it to. So, yes, I do. That's awesome, Seth. Working with minimal tools. Me too, Chris. I got to climb the five bucket. Yeah, anytime. Squirrely John. I try to be good. That's one thing I feel like that kind of sets me apart from a lot of other people. I can improvise and like make do with what I have. And make the best out of it always. Grains are sweet. Yes, they are, Seth. You can come work with me. Oh, man. Dude, I'm going to take you up on it, Joe. Right on. Uh, my first name is Ben. Oh, really? First name's Ben. I will try to remember that, Seth. I'm done bolting. I like bolts. Right on. Crane's nice, but I have five more. Okay. Alright, finally I caught up on comments. I'm 47. Every job I do. That's awesome. Okay, climbing. Okay, so now. Um, let me. So, what we do is we spin that thing around. You know, get it back here. And now, I'll show you what it takes for me to uh, actually connect the actual log lift. This is, this is the whole process. This is why I like it too. It's on, we're done. Oh. Let's see. Used to live in East St. Louis, so oh, that's awesome, Ben. What's up, Greg? Okay, so now that thing sets up just like that, and then uh, I'll show you. Well, there's Tammy. Huge. Every day, just bigger, 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 bigger. It's... Yeah. Come on. See ya. Are you guys there? Sorry. All right. So um, you guys can see this pretty good, then. Note the flap flying a lid. See this here? There's the eye bolt that Mike, um, Mike Vance was saying. So this system here, simple uh, cable pulley. I just have a Carter P or a key in it where you pop it out, pop the pin, drop it down. So this all goes together. Really easy, really simple. And um, goes back in pretty easy. So 
the problem with the whole system that when I had it originally was that you know I would uh, I would get the logs to the end of the trailer and I couldn't create lift um, I could extend the uh, the winch out and um, stand it straight up and see if that would work you know um, like here I'll show you actually how high this thing goes up into the air it goes it literally goes like straight up and down You know, to create lift, it'll go actually a lot higher than this. But, you know, the only thing I could think of was get it to the back of the trailer and then lift this thing like this. And then it'll be creating a little bit of pull upward. But even with this thing, we well, can see, you know how tall, I'm, I'm like 6'2 or 6'3. It's like 10 foot, eh, 9 foot up in the air and uh, it still wouldn't create enough like actual lift so that was that was the problem I ran into while I was trying to originally um, use this system to do logs let's see here oh is knee here turbo T's here what's up guys What would you go out with? I would have had this trailer here. Go back when I started with. Yeah. See this, uh, the, what's nice about this little crane thing, so I can take and, if I have brush out here, like I said, this thing spins a 360, so I leave the pin out. It does have stationary pins, so you can, like, in an angle or this angle, there's like six of them. But if I leave the pin out, it will line itself up to where it'll get a straight pull so i usually just leave the pin out let it go um i just kept running into non-stop you know troubles with uh oh i'm definitely not an engineer top of the country day. oh really oh, caught me. dang man my saddle was... Dang. Be careful. What size cable is that? Um... I don't know. I don't know cable. Like 3 8 maybe? That's probably not right. We'll, but we'll see. So... Like I said, I would run into troubles. Creating that lift. So... I'll get this pulled out. Look, I'll show you guys. Look what we did. You know how I told you I messed the cable up? Oh, hang on, I can't see. Just a little bit. And we end up picking up the biggest, I think. Well, no, I think we got lucky. We actually got the biggest log on there, but the like second biggest tree. We actually ended up lifting the log with the cable like that, and it was still fine. So, um, yeah, all I have to do, here's what else is kind of cool. Um, with this, this is always live and always ready to go. I don't have to do anything. Underneath here and underneath this little piece of angle iron is a button um, with in and out on it. It's a little hidden button that's always live. <laughs> But then on top of it, I have a, uh, I have a button, a little button over here. This thing pops off and I have a remote that plugs up into it. And the remote will let me get myself all the way to the back of the trailer and still be able to operate it. I welded up a spare tire holder and pretended like I knew what I was doing. Um, also have this metal plate welded on 
the back of the trailer to keep from tearing the boards up. Like I said, those ramps will line across here. So I think you kind of understand what I'm saying with the uh, with the system and how it works. I would think. Some people are creeps. Do I buy lurking like that? Just because there's some random girl. Oh, so. Can you see? Yeah. There you go. Hey! What are you doing? That's funny. Mike. Mike. Where'd you get that truck? I don't it for a while. Really? It's a nice ah. little truck. Hi YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there. And then it's a little quicker normally. But uh yeah. I got Mike. I didn't break that. Dave did. <laughs> yeah, that damn thing's shredded, man. But what's nice is I if you look at it, see this thing is them big old three locks I probably only need maybe two but I'll put an actual one of the little sleeves on it next time it kind of holds it together makes it look clean I didn't even know where to get those but when I did the cave one for the lady the last cave one job I found some okay that's what I needed a little coupler things where both wires sit in it and you don't get to duct tape it and make it look hillbilly kind of look professional but, uh, yeah, I'm off here now. I'm gonna run. You guys, uh, I'll, I'll upload the next one when it gets to like a thousand views. I'm just gonna hold on to it till then. But it's done. So, go watch it three or four more times. Bye.